Big thanks to Morning Brew for sponsoring today's video. Today is an exciting day in the world of electric vehicles and sustainable transportation because the startup company Lucid Motors just revealed their highly anticipated luxury electric vehicle called the Lucid Air. It has had a prototype for a couple of years now and it's finally being released to the market in early 2021. And in this video, I'm gonna go over the main specs about this car, show you the best parts about it. And then we'll also talk about how it relates to Tesla in the market of EVs. So will this change your decision somehow? Is it better than a Tesla? Is it a Tesla killer as they like to call it? Well, let's find out. So if you've never heard of Lucid Motors, it is a startup company out of California created by Peter Rawlinson, the former chief designer of the original Tesla Model S. So you know that this company is ran by somebody who knows what they're doing. I mean, the Tesla Model S uh, kind of paved the way for electric vehicles. So Lucid Motors is mainly focused on three things, luxury, innovation, and performance. They basically want to create the best car in the world, not just the best electric vehicle, but the best car, period. Now their car, the Lucid Air, is the result of a revolutionary approach to automotive packaging called the Lucid Space Concept, which capitalizes upon the miniaturization of Lucid's in-house developed EV drivetrain to optimize interior cabin space. By simultaneously making smaller yet more powerful electric motors and dramatically improving the packaging of the entire electric powertrain, Lucid is able to reclaim that space for passengers and their comfort. So if you've watched any of my previous videos about my Model 3, you know that I'm all about efficiency. I bought the most efficient Tesla ever made with the rear wheel drive single motor Model 3. So I like to get the most miles out of the least amount of energy. And that's why I like this approach from Lucid with the Air. I like this hyper efficiency model approach that they're using because that will be the thing that will move the EV industry forward, I think. If all the manufacturers that make EVs are starting to focus more on efficiency, then more people will be able to adopt EVs for their lifestyle. But when you think about efficiency, you also think that, oh, it's not as high performing. Well, this is not the case. The top of the line Lucid Air Dream Edition will have over 1000 horsepower. It's based on a dual motor all wheel drive architecture and it's able to achieve a quarter mile time as quick as 9.9 .9 seconds on a consistent repeatable basis. Now that's crazy in itself, but it gets even better uh, if you remember watching my, my talk from Fully Charged Live from earlier this year, you know that I was referencing something that is commonly said in the EV space, and that is range is king, meaning how far the car can travel on a single charge is the most important factor when it comes to buying an electric vehicle because a lot of people who are you know reluctant to buy electric vehicles are like, you know, how far can it go on a full charge? Like that's one of the most common questions because people are worried that it's gonna take long for them to charge. So they wanna be able to go somewhere without charging or, or without waiting long times to charge the car. So this car can go 517 miles on a single charge and that's EPA rated. So that's an official government rating. So when that is released, that should be the world's longest range electric vehicle Another reason why it can go so far on a single charge is that it is extremely aerodynamic. In fact, it's the most aerodynamic luxury car ever. It has a drag coefficient of 0.21. The more aerodynamic your car is, the more efficient it's gonna be, the longer range you're gonna have when you're traveling, which is very important. But not only that, it is supposed to be the world's fastest charging electric vehicle. So if you're not even satisfied with going 500 miles on a single charge and you're worried about, well, how long does it take to charge it? This is the world's fastest charging EV with 350 kilowatt charging. And Lucid has partnered with Electrify America with three years of complimentary free charging. And Electrify America, if you don't know about that, their goal is to build the nation's biggest public EV charging infrastructure. It's not as expansive as the Tesla supercharger network. Uh, Tesla superchargers still have the most compared. I mean, they have tens of thousands, but Electrify America does offer the 350 kilowatt charging speeds compared to Tesla, which is only 250 kilowatt at the max right now. So. Before we continue with the Lucid Air, I wanna quickly tell you about today's sponsor, Morning Brew, which is a free daily newsletter Monday through Saturday to catch you up on all the important business news of the day in just five minutes. If your morning routine consists of mindless scrolling on social media, do yourself a favor and replace it with Morning Brew. Traditional finance and business news is usually boring, while Morning Brew provides business news in a useful yet funny manner with a witty and relevant style to the writing that makes it easy to consume. It's my favorite newsletter by far, and it's how I found out about 
about the Pentagon's $10 billion cloud computing deal with Microsoft and Peloton's upcoming cheaper treadmill. If you're a fan of tech and finance, you should definitely subscribe to Morning Brew. It's free and takes less than 15 seconds, so click the link in the description below to subscribe now. So uh, with the Lucid Air, you should be able to charge 20 miles in one minute. So you'll be able to theoretically charge 300 miles of range in about 20 minutes of charging, uh, which is awesome. That should be enough for anybody when they're traveling on road trips. And I think that equates to around 1200 miles of range per hour of charge compared to the 250 kilowatt charging speed with Tesla's which is a thousand miles of range per hour of charge. Now, the reason the Lucid Air is able to charge so quickly is that it's built on a 900 volt electrical architecture compared to just the 400 volt electrical architecture in Tesla's. So it's really interesting to see how well and optimized Lucid really has created the air as far as performance, range, charging, and luxury. The Lucid Air is all about comfort. And when you look inside the interior, that's when you see the biggest difference between a Tesla. The Tesla Model S performance is still quicker than the quickest Lucid Air, but Lucid Air is not really trying to beat Tesla in that performance category. They're trying to beat them in the luxury category. So that is the biggest differentiator between the Lucid and the Tesla. Lucid is really, really focused on not only hyper efficiency, but more so luxury and comfort. So with Lucid's exclusive space concept philosophy, the Air offers a full-size luxury class interior while maintaining an agile sports sedan footprint. This approach also results in the largest front trunk of any electric car to date and bi-level storage capabilities in both front and rear compartments. And the interior of the Lucid Air just screams luxury, comfort, elegance, in front of the driver is a 34 inch curved glass cockpit 5K display that floats above the dashboard, which contributes to that light and airy feel of the interior, along with that all glass canopy roof. It also has a retractable central pilot panel that sits in fingertip reach of the driver and passenger for a deeper control of the vehicle systems and functions. Now, many people, when they see the interior of my Tesla Model 3, they're kind of confused. They're like, where are all the buttons? Because most of the controls are just done on the 15 inch touchscreen display. I think Lucid tried to help with this by providing several highly tactical physical controls, including rib turbines for steering wheel functions, a volume control roller, and alloy toggle switches for tuning climate settings. Lucid also has a feature coming in the future that will allow the back seats to recline, sort of like you're just sitting back and flying first class in a, in a private jet. So that's gonna be really cool to see, uh, but that will also take away from the space. But without those re reclining seats, if you just have the standard seat, seat option, it seats five adults, and it's supposed to do that comfortably. And this is all a result from sizing down that electric drivetrain, uh, and then they have the battery pack on the, skate, the skateboard style uh, design on the bottom. So you have all this space that you have left over, which is what Lucid is all about with this Air. Uh, and if you don't have that reclining seat option, you just have the standard option, then you should have a ton of space in the trunk and in the front trunk. They're choosing to focus on luxury and space and comfort. The Lucid Air's advanced driver assistance system is called Lucid Dream Drive, and it's supposedly the most comprehensive sensor suite on the market. Uh, while I think Tesla still has the advantage when it comes to software, when it comes to full self-driving or driving assistance systems, Tesla's have multiple cameras built all around the car. It has a forward-facing radar. It has ultrasonic sensors, but it doesn't have some of the things that the Lucid is claiming to have on their advanced driver assistance system, which is one, the driver monitoring system. System. And Lucid also uses LiDAR in their advanced driver assistance system. So I think those two components are what Lucid is trying to convey to convey to people that, hey, we have driver monitoring system and LiDAR, which Tesla does not have. Now, does that make Lucid's driver assistance system better than Tesla Autopilot or Tesla full self-driving? No, I still think Tesla has the best advanced driver assistance system out there, but it's gonna be good to know that uh, Lucid is taking this seriously, and they said they are providing software updates. So uh, Lucid is really trying to be as good as Tesla in the software department, uh, because a lot of the manufacturers do suffer when it comes to software and implementing the latest uh, innovative technologies uh, when it comes to autonomy and future autonomy. So you can tell that Lucid is trying their best to keep up with Tesla, uh, and we'll see how that goes when, they, when the car is actually released. Now let's possibly talk about the most important factor when it comes to making the decision to buy a Lucid Air. 
the pricing and configurations. So the Lucid Air is going to come in four models and the base model is going to start below $80,000 and that's before any tax incentive. However, that base model is not going to become available until 2022. If you want to be one of the first ones to buy a Lucid Air, you're going to have to buy the most expensive model, which is the Dream Edition. That starts at $169,000 before any tax credit, and that will go up to 465 miles on a single charge with the 21-inch Aero Dream wheels or 503 miles of range with the 19-inch wheels. And that has over 1,000 horsepower, and it has a 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds with a quarter mile speed of 9.9 .9 seconds. So if you want that high-performance model, you got to get the Lucid Air Dream Edition, which is the first one to actually be produced and delivered in spring of 2021. If you want the longest range Lucid Air Edition, you'll have to go with the Air Grand Touring model. And this one starts at $139,000 before tax incentives, and it has 800 horsepower, goes 517 miles on a single charge, 0 to 60 in 3 seconds, and a quarter mile of 10.8 seconds. And that will become available in Q2 of 2021, and that leaves the Air Touring model, which starts at around $95,000 before tax incentives, and that will give you over 400 miles of range on a single charge with over 600 horsepower and a 0 to 60 time of 3.2 seconds and a quarter mile in 11.4 seconds. And all four models are capable of the 350 kilowatt charging speed of 1200 miles of range per hour of charge, which is incredible. Will this eat into Tesla cells or is this a Tesla killer? Well, in my opinion, no. Here's why. The Lucid Air is aimed at a completely different segment than what the Tesla buyers are looking for. So most Tesla buyers are looking for something around $50,000 because the best-selling Teslas are the Model 3 and Model Y. So you can still get a mass market uh, production vehicle from Tesla right now with the Model 3 and Model Y for less than $50,000. You cannot do that with the Lucid Air, even with the cheapest model. It's still gonna be near $80,000. When you're looking at this, you're like, well, this does compete with Tesla Model S and Model X. Well, yes, some of these will be comparative to the Model S and Model X, but here are the things that you can look at. If you're looking for the luxury, the space, the comfort, that long range with over 500 miles, then yeah, I think uh, the Lucid Air is definitely something that you should look into. I think this is going to be a very small market though, because I think this will be the new celebrity car. So you've seen uh, the, the past few years, a lot of celebrities, you probably see them driving, t driving Teslas. I think the Lucid, depending on how well it performs and how well it actually lives up to its hype, I think this will become the new celebrity vehicle because this is in such a higher price target market than most Tesla owners. Uh, with the Lucid, I mean, you're looking six figures. You're looking at over $100,000 easily, uh, close to $200,000. So what I think is going to happen, I think the Lucid Air will take away from Porsche and Mercedes and Jaguar and BMW. And if that's the case, then that actually helps Tesla because what does that do? That helps Tesla with their overall mission, which is to accelerate the transition to sustainable energy. So they, Tesla's mission is to get more people to adopt sustainable transportation aka electric vehicles. So if Lucid is in a price market that is competing with gasoline Porsches, gasoline Mercedes, gasoline Jaguars, gasoline uh, BMWs, I think the Lucid, it looks so compelling. It looks so good on paper that I think it could steal customers from those car manufacturers, uh, which is a good thing. It's a good thing for everybody. It's a good thing for consumers. It's a good thing for the for Tesla. It's good for Lucid, and it's good for the world because that means more people are moving to electric vehicles. So uh, I think this is going to be a great thing for Tesla and the, just a great thing for EVs in general. I'm excited to see the Lucid Air. I hope to get my hands on one in 2021. Lucid, if you want me to review it, please reach out. If you're interested in Tesla or technology or want to see maybe my potential review of a Lucid Air, please subscribe to this channel. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of the Lucid Air in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.